Am I the arsehole? For making our home into a no-religion space, and including my mother in the rules. My girlfriend finally moved in together after dating for three years, due to money troubles keeping us in separate roommate situations. We're very exited to make our apartment into our own space, since for both of us this is the first home we've had without sharing with anyone else. My mother and my late father is rabidly Catholic. I was raised Catholic growing up, church every Sunday, praying before every meal and snack, blah blah blah. I refused to do confirmation, which enraged my mother but she backed off after the priest told her that was my right. She didn't approve of me being bi which is weird, she surprisingly is okay with gay people and still dragged me to church hoping I'd grow out of it. Long story short I moved out at 18, and have kept a respectfully distant relationship with her. She's mellowed a bit in her age, but she still tries to invite me to church every week, even after I told her plainly to cut that out. She's respectful to my girlfriend, mostly because I will choose her over my mother if it comes to that, and it nearly did when she accused my girlfriend of being a predator when we met due to our age gap. My girlfriend has an even more traumatic past with religion. When she was outed at 12, her parents abused her until she was 18, then disowned her. The entire time using Bible quotes and God's mission as an excuse. She still believes in a God, just not in religion or worship, which I respect. With all our trauma about religion, we decided to make the place into a no-religion space. That means no praying, no religious symbols of any kind, no proselytizing, no talking about religious settings. My mother hates that, because all her friends are churchgoers and 80 of her stories relate to something happening in church. She also gets mad that we make her take off or cover her cross necklace, as are the rules. She claims we're being hypocrites, to which I told her she's lucky to be in my life at all. Still some of our friends told us we're taking it too far, and using our trauma as an outlet for revenge. Nadar. Your house your rules but I personally think telling her to cover up her cross necklace is probably one step too far. Understandable but I'd be careful about the clothing G symbols jewelry ban and who you could potentially alienate in the future as far as friends. Many religions require accoutrements. Muslim, Sikh, Hindus, various Christian sects all can require specific clothing or accessories to be worn. Not the asshole for the rest, like no religious artifacts and no religion talk your house your rules. But you're the asshole for policing what your mother wears even in your own home to such an extent. A single necklace is very subtle and it isn't your role to dictate that jewelry be removed. You can ask politely which itself would be Irish but at least respectful, but you have no right to demand. If you were truly a no-religion space it would apply to your Muslim friends and their hijabs. I imagine you would allow them to pray. Not just Christians. The way you apply the rule you are a no-Christian space and you are being a hypocrite looking for revenge. If this is about your mom then cut her out or take your issues to therapy. Info. What kind of church talk is your mom doing? Is it like, I was at church the other day and Agnes was doing the most atrocious singing in the choir. I thought my ears would die type stuff, or is it like the priest was talking about this in his sermon the other day type stuff? Just tell your mom you don't like talking to her and move on. You both need to go to therapy to deal with this trauma. You're the asshole. So I am guessing that no Muslims can come into your home wearing a hijab. No Sikhs can come into your house either. Or Jews wearing a kippah. Will you make them shave to enter your home as well? Basically, you are bigots using your issues to force others. Basically, you are doing to others what was done to you. Congratulations. You are shoving your views down the throat of any guest in your house. You're taking things a bit too far here and acting very much like a militant anti-theist. Ultimately it is your decision but you won't heal any of your pain by treating your mother like garbage or treating religious symbols like the plague. It won't kill you if your mother wears a cross any more than it killed me to talk to Satanists who wore a pentagram. You're the asshole. 
you're being an absolute petty jerk. There's a big difference between asking for your mom not to talk about church in your house and making her literally remove her cross. Not the asshole for banning religion in your home. I mean, you're adults and have had enough. You might give a pass for jewelry or storytelling of things that happened with church folks, though, as long as they aren't preachy or evangelistic. But you do you. I don't think you're being hypocritical at all. Not the asshole. Religionists have been saying my house, my rules for years. Strike one back for rationality. You both need to get therapy for your past. Your house your rules but you're the asshole for taking it too far and using your trauma as revenge. Not all religious people are bad. There are good and bad people in all walks of life. You don't have to have it in your own but you can't dictate what other people do with their lives and what they wear. That is taking it too far and that calls for therapy. Normally would be YTA, but in this particular case, due to her trauma it is obviously not the asshole. It's her house aka her own private space and Terry's nothing wrong with wanting to feel comfortable in her own home. I think asking someone to change their outfit or avoid talking about their friend group is a little far. Would you ask your Muslim friend to remove her headscarf in your home? That's quite disrespectful. No one should be enforcing their beliefs on you, but I don't think you should be enforcing yours on anyone else, or interfering with their bodily autonomy either. I guess it's your right to set rules as it's your home but you may as well just refuse to have a relationship with anyone who has religious beliefs. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Fellow queer with a super fucked up Christian upbringing here. You deserve a home free of trauma triggers. Not the asshole, she can talk about her religious shit whenever she wants but outside your house, what happens is that for religious people their only personality is to talk about their god, because they focus more on being good slaves than good people, so they don't they develop as people, I can imagine what kind of religious your mother is, all the topics lead to her religion, all the time throwing adorations and worst of all. They speak condescendingly about her religion to others because they believe they are superior. Not the asshole. Your home has to be your and your girlfriend's safe space, not your mother's. It's you who have every right to decide what it needs to feel comfortable in your home or what it needs for healing. In public you have to arrange with everyone else, but not in your very own space. Not the asshole. Your house, your rules. Covering up or not wearing a cross necklace isn't gonna kill the old bat. Good for you, establishing rules with these wackos. Not the asshole take a page from Captain Reynolds you're welcome in my home. God ain't. Natar. Not the asshole, fuck your friends. They didn't go through the trauma, so they can shut right the fuck up. Not the asshole. With that background, both of you your space and she should be happy she can even go over the threshold. So much congratulations on having your own space. I was raised Christian but I simply fully read the book and decided it wasn't my thing, and same with my partner. I can sympathize, even though there's no abuse in our case.